Hey man, this is Luis from STTV6. Thank you for joining us from our partner TV studio in New Delhi. We understand that the Indian Supreme Court has very recently canceled the environmental clearance granted for the development of an international airport in the globally celebrated and popular traveler state of Goa. What was wrong with the said clearance? Well, uh, uh, legally and strictly speaking, the Indian Supreme Court did not cancel the environmental clearance but suspended the same with a direction to uh, expert appraisal committee to re-examine the sanctions made by it in favor of the clearance. Uh, the court felt that uh, there were many procedural failings in the said clearance. Uh, the, the court expressed uh, the, the concern about the prevalent state of uh, the environment and, and, and the need to reconcile it with the public uh, development projects. Uh, the, the court was uh, uh, definitely, certainly not against permanently disallowing the international airport construction in Mopa, in, in Goa. But, but uh, I felt it was inclined towards imposing perhaps such additional conditions which will effectively safeguard the, the, the fears among uh, amongst, um, uh, beg your pardon, uh, the, the... But uh, Hammond, about, about this the talk about new airport ecosystem. in Goa is going on for almost two decades now. The existing Dublin airport is quite overburdened and could break down under the mounting capacity of passenger traffic into Goa. What do you say? I, I agree, but, but the Indian uh, uh, Supreme Court found certain infirmities in the, in the whole process of grant of environmental clearance, including lack of uh, public uh, consultation. The, the court actually noted that the public consultation is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a process which is designed to hear the voices of those communities which would be affected by the activity. Uh, they may be affected in terms of the air which they breathe, the water which they drink or, or use to irrigate their lands. Uh, the, the disruption of local habitats and, and the uh, uh, generation of uh, environmental ecosystems which, which define their existence and sustain their livelihoods. The, 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 the court actually equated the health of the environment to the right to life as enshrined uh, in the constitution of it. Thank you, Hammond. See you on the other side of the break.